Okay, guys, I'm back at it with you tonight with a little video. Uh, don't mind the way I'm dressed because I'm going to be working on my bike. Uh, I've come on here tonight. We're going to swap out the tires on my bike and put the better tire, which ain't a good tire, it's better than the one that's on it, around with the one on the other side on my bike so we can get traction. And I'll show you what I mean by not getting no traction because it's pretty bald. So right now we're gonna go get the bike loose, which the bike is right over that way, you can see. And we're gonna take it loose and we're gonna try to see what we can do. I'm gonna try to swap it out. sit around and they dry rotted because I didn't get to ride it for so long. So now we have to change them around until we get the money to buy more tires. And I set in water and got my hind end wet because it's been raining here. But anyways, we're not worried about all that. Trying to get it in a place where it don't roll on us. I think air is going to be about as good as we're going to get it. We're going to be taking this one off on this side, putting it on that side, and that one on that, off on that side, putting it on this side. Which is our plan. So, the one that is our traction tire is, well, I'll show you what I get them off. Anyways, this one's got to come off and go over there. That one's got to come off and come over here. So, that's what we're going to be working on. And to do this, I went and got a crescent wrench. Now, I'm sure there's a socket that fits it, but it's a pretty good sized boat. And you have to take the boat off, so I just brought one. And it's not really even that tight. Whoa, boy, that tire is loose. And anyways, we done got this one going off with no problem. I always want to lay your nuts in boats where you don't lose them. So we're going to lay them in a the chair. And this one's already ready to come off, guys, that quick. Look at there. And as you can see, this tire's not got much tread, but it's pulling to the side. See how it's wearing inward? If I pull it to this side, it'll run it this way for a while. But I do notice I've got a big chunk out of it right there. So I have to watch where I go until I get some tires. But that's the better of the two, believe it or not. But we're going to put him right there. And this one has a hubcap. So let's take off the little hubcap on this side. And the bike's not really that heavy. It's a little bit heavy, but not really heavy, heavy. And this one's not that tight either. But I'll show you the difference in the tire when I get it pulled off. See, as you can look at this one, there's no tread on this one. See right there? No tread at all. This one's got just a little bit to the inner side. This one has none. So that's the pull tire. That's why it slides. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it around. Put this one on this side now for a little bit until we get a little bit longer run out of it. And then we'll put the other one on the other side. Hopefully that'll hold up for a little bit. I think I got it backwards though. I'm gonna turn it around. Cause it ain't. It seemed like it went on there too well. Oh, there ain't no 
no difference in them. Let me look at it and make sure. No, there ain't no difference in them. Oh well. Alright, let's try to put him on there. Probably don't do nothing to tighten it up. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're gonna have to get the other one on first. I think we're gonna have to do the other one first. So I always want to do is roll the gear. Alright. Well we're gonna have to put the other one on first. Anyways, I'm gonna put this side on so it'll make you quit rolling the, the shaft. Like that. I know you guys don't want to see nothing but my eye and in, so we're actually going to move him around the front so you can see something on my butt. All right. Here we go. So we're going to have to hold that side somehow. Hopefully this wrench is big enough. And there you tighten both sides with one hit. One way you do, when you do it, you tighten both sides at once. Evidently, I don't like the way that looks. Cause that screws early on on this side, and on this side we got plenty of room. Huh? I don't think that's gonna work, guys. The reason why I'm saying that is they should interchange. But they're not going to on the rims because look right here we got nut, the nut barely goes on see right there you can see it's barely going on there but then when i move to this side guys look we have the whole nut plus we have all the space behind it so that ain't gonna work when i change them back and just do tires and tubes so that's gonna be a longer process so now we're gonna have to break down the tires on each one and do it the other way. Not gonna be good, but that's the only way we're gonna be able to do it. If I wanna change tires. And if I don't change them, then every time I ride, it's gonna slide and all kinds of crazy stuff. The problem I'm having right now is every time I go to ride, uh, it's sliding. And you can't be sliding going down the road because it'll slide you in traffic and stuff. So I'm going to have to take and come up with a, doing it the other way. Well, 
they ain't cooperating too well. So what do I do with that big person? That side ready to come off again already. This side here is going to be stubborn. I don't know why it's doing that. Makes no sense. Oh, my back, sir. All right, let's see here. We're going to put something down to hold the sprocket. Oh, let me see what we got. Seems like something that should be simple to do. Always has to be a roll pain in the butt. Always. What I'm having a problem with is this thing wanting to spin on around on me. I'm going to have to hold it until I get it loose. The other way to do it is hold it down here. If I can get down to it. Take a break from it a minute. Alright guys, we got it loose. So since that didn't work, although I don't know why, because the wheels are identical, I don't know why it didn't work. So we're going to put it back and just do tires and tubes. Or at least tires, we're going to do tubes, just tires. So I take that down off again. It always makes something easy complicated. Why well, I don't know. I know what it is now. The difference is right in here in this little thing. The way it goes up over the shaft. So that's the reason why it didn't work. That side's got a place in it that the other one don't. See there? This one don't have it. This is just a straight shaft. 
So that should go like that. And then that one should go back on that side. Ugh. Just like so. Should go on just like that. Let me see. Yeah, that should go on there like that, and then that should go on like that. Right back the way it was. Oh. So, needless to say, that did not work. There we go. So we're gonna have to let the air out of these tires. Pull the tires off and switch just tires while it's on the bike. This is what we're gonna try to do, guys. But it's the only way I can do it. Because evidently, they are made different. But it's a good thing in a way I took it loose because those tires were loose. This way I got to put some more mojo on it. Alright, see how that's spinning right there when I was pulling on it? That's the way it spins when I ride the bike. Now we just tighten this side up. Yeah, that tire spinning this one's not. All right. Now we got that done. So now we're gonna have to let the air out of the tires and just pull the tires and switch tires. Can't be a simple little fix. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. So what we do now is we just turn it angle. We're gonna turn that angle, and we're gonna let the air out of this tire. That way we can reverse tires. Until we get the money to buy some tires. That don't seem like much air in a tire though, as far as, you know, being strong enough to hold a person up. But it's completely flat, as you can see there now. All right. And then we're gonna have to try to break this tire off here and put it over there. And the same the same. So let's let the air out of the other one and get it flat. We're gonna flatten both tires. Uh, 
Because I don't even know how much the tires cost for this thing. Probably about 20 bucks a piece, I'd say. If I was a guessing man. I just don't have it right now. And I want to be able to still ride and do videos and stuff. And I can't do nothing without tires. Or without a bike, I mean. Hey, that one hurts. I had to go up inside the bike. We gotta watch that. Alright. So this one's flat too. Both of them's flat. Now. And we want to keep our bow capped. So we put them over here so they don't get messed up. And then we want a flat screwdriver. I'm going to take a little thin one too, just in case. We're going to see if we can get it off. May not be able to get them, we're going to try. So we're going to have to move it over just a little bit where we got room to work. Alright. We're going to go right in here. And we're just going to kind of raise up on it. Like so. Go a little further down, raise up again. Except we don't want to get too much of a bite. We just want to go small places. Like so. We gotta get it started good. Then we'll just come in here every so often and poke in. And just kinda, we don't want to cut the tube. That's what we're trying to be easy of. Because we don't have the money to buy tires. It's a shame when you ain't got the money to buy a dang bicycle tire. But our economy's been so bad, I ain't been able to afford nothing extra. I hope it gets better, but I don't know. If it don't, those American people are in trouble. Our economy right now is horrible. All right, see how I walked that off, guys? Now I walked that side off. Now we're gonna have to do the same back here. We'll probably just have to take the whole tire off and then put the tube back on. So here we got the whole tire off now. Tube and all. All right, we'll take that one over there to that side. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Right now we're riding around on a rim. <laughs> I wonder how good, good attraction you get like that. That would be uh, kind of like the the Mini Nikes bikes if they had metal wheels on their bicycles. That'd be the, you know, basically just that. But I'd say I'd eat that rim up so fast going down to concrete and asphalt, it would be horrible. But anyways, let's get the other one to switch them out. This tire is actually flat in places where it's so wore down. It is so wore out, guys. You would not believe it. I'm surprised it ain't busted. As much as I've been hitting hoes and everything else. But knock on wood, I've been pretty fortunate. We've not had no flats. We want to continue not to have flats. I don't want a flat tire on a bike. I don't want a flat tire on a car. Flat tires are not fun. Regardless of what it's on. But we're going to work this one on off. Ooh, I didn't like the way that sound. Let's go the other way. I think I got it started enough if I can get it. No, we ain't either.
this side's being a little bit more complicated, guys. There we got it going now. Just took it a minute to get going. I think the tube didn't let out the whole way. That one screwdriver's bound to determine it's going to run down to the yonder. Alright. If I don't pick it up now, I won't be able to see it in a little while. Alright, guys, got that done. Now we're going to sit these down up here. And we should be able to get the inner side off. There we go. All right. Now we got them both on rims. All right. Now I'll show you the tires, guys. Okay, see how this one's got a little bit of tread? A little bit the whole way around, mostly on this side. If I put it on this side, it should help grip. Okay. See how this one, this is the pulling tire. See how it has no tread at all in the middle? In fact, it's a, it is even flat right in here. There's no tread on this tire. Maybe a little bit on the outer edges, but not much. So we're gonna put it over on the other side. And that's the way we're gonna have to do them to, for the time being until we get tires. But this did not let all the air out. That's the reason why we're having uh, well, it's having a problem getting this one off. It's still got quite a bit of air in the tube. So we'll see if we can get more air out of it. Yeah, see, I hear it going out now. Yeah. Well, that got a little more of it out. So now we're going to try to put this one back on this side, and then we have to pump them back up. Oh, we want to gather our wrenches. I'm always good about picking up your tools as you go along, too. That way you don't lose nothing. I don't like to set and lose nothing or have to look for something. I like to know where my stuff's at at all times. All right, this one here, I've got to find a little hole that the tube goes in, which is going to be right down there. All right, I'm going to move it around a little bit if we got more room to get into it. And it's going to have to go right down in there like that to go on. And we'll probably take a screwdriver and pry it on. But it's going to go on this side. I see why the fender is making so much noise. One of the boats is gone. We're going to have to find a new screw for that back fender again. Hear it? I've been hearing that going down the road and wondering what it was. I see right now the whole, whole boat has fell out of the fender. These bikes are not made in good shape. These bikes, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this bike to nobody. And i tell you why. Because there's been more stuff work loose and this thing has fell apart so many times that it is ridiculous. I mean, I ain't never seen a bike when you go down the road, things just wiggle loose like this one has. I mean, this has been awful for doing things like that. But I wouldn't recommend this bike to nobody. So if you thought about getting one of them, I would advise you to think about it real hard. But these are not good bikes. Kinda needs to tilt it up a little bit where I can get up to it like that. And as you can see, we got a lot of it going already. Now we just need to work it on on. Which won't take too long. Hopefully. I 
I like to take it both off one time. That way you don't risk cutting the tube. Which I ain't worked on a bike. I got, like I said, I got this one. Seems like every time you turn around, you're having to work on this one. I ain't never seen a bike you had to work on so much. Every time you turn around, something's falling apart on this thing. I don't know how many times I put boats in them fenders. We want to get away from this bow stem, so we want to work this on in. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go down in there. about to get it we hope <sighs> oh don't do that that's like my fingers now nah, quit doing that All right, got one more spot. Sometimes you got to take two screwdrivers and go in at it. If you don't want to get it, we want to make sure you get it to where you don't stab your tube. And I'll sit there and say that and watch and see I'll end up stabbing the tube. Because sometimes it is hard to do. But see, I got to be able to do this on the side of the road in case I have a flat. All right, that one's on, guys. There we go. One side's done. Oh, I showed me young me instead of that. Well, one side's on, guys. We had to pry it and pry out, but we got it on. There's that side on. All right. Now we have to flip the bike around. Put the other one on. Then we pump them up and we should have traction again. But like I said, there's nothing left of these tires. These tires is pretty well shot. That's what happens when you leave a bike set for so many years. You know, because this one's set for probably a good couple of years. We don't want to row it too much. We get them tires aired up. But it's so heavy I can't hardly lift it. around just a little bit more. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to mess up that rim. All right. And we lost one of the hubcaps. I used to have two little white hubcaps and now I'm down to one. 
One of them has fell off. I don't know where. Well, some one night when I was out riding, evidently I lost the hubcap. So, until I figure out what I've done with it, I guess I got one, or I won't fail, I won't figure it out. I'll just be with one hubcap. But now we're going to do this side. And this time I'm actually going to let you watch. Because I thought you was watching a while ago, and evidently you wasn't. And there's still some air stuck in the tire, some tube. So we'll drain it on out. Well, we are if we can hold the tools. Yeah, that's all it's going to give us. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's find a little hoe. It's going to be down over here, which is in a pretty good spot. You always pull your tube up out a little bit. So you make sure it gets way up on that, like so. And I like to push it in around there as much as I can before I even get started. Uh. All right, bike, sit still. What are you doing? Well, it's gonna quit flopping around on me in a minute, I hope. Yeah, well, I'd put it right about up there, I guess. All right, we got that in there. Now we're gonna try to put this tight around. Actually, guys, that one was easy. It's already on. All right. Then we got it, you know, got it up out of the, the tube pulled up in the slider. Good. And now we're down to pumping it up. And I don't know, a lot of people have compressors and stuff. I have a little hand pump, all I have. Which I broke. Here in there. Oh, my knee's popping. <laughs> but now we're down to just this as a pump. And believe it or not, this little thing is not much left of it. It was like a ten or fifteen dollar pump. And you can see what's left of it. You just put it on there and you push down like that, and it just pumps it on up. But it's easy to work with, actually. And it surprises me how full it makes the tire in just a, no time. I pumped up car tires with it. But I always make sure to get it up on there good. And then I just start pumping. And it's about no time. It's hard enough to get a hold you up. I don't know how many pounds they gotta have in them. I have no idea. This one's already, as you can see, it is already hard. But we're gonna put a few more. All right. That's the heart of the rock right there, so. We'll do about five more pumps if it'll let me. One. I'm not gonna more than that, it ain't gonna let us do no more. See, that's what I said, it pumps up quick. All right, now that that one's pumped, we'll have ground here. We have the valve cap right here, a little green cap. I'm gonna put it right back on there. Then we get to turn the bike one more time, or we can just let it down flat. 
and pull it around to it, probably just do that. But as you can see, it's got a little more tread now. The fender is bent a little bit. It looks like it might be hitting a tire here and there. I don't know. I've hit some curbs and stuff, bouncing off curbs and hauling them rocks and stuff with it. So, I'm telling. At the moment, it acts like it's locked. I'm gonna have to look at that in a minute. See what's going on. Could be the pedals where I rode it back so much. Oh, and here's a wrench we gotta put in there. Gotta put it back there. But yeah, we well, make sure these stems are out good though. Because if you don't, then they'll go up beside your tire. And you don't want that. You can even rest this on your knee. It's really easy to use. But I have charged this light for this bike about twice is all I've ever charged this light. And I have went on some pretty good little trips. I cannot believe how good the lights hold up on these bikes. Or at least that brand. I would definitely recommend that brand of light. I don't know what the name of it is. But I have charged it, like I said, hardly nothing. And maybe twice. And it's still going strong. That's what gets me. I can't tell if that's full or not. I believe it's pumped, guys. That's what we was a little project we was working on. Was changing out the tires to give me a little more time so I can buy tires. I am gonna have to find a boat for this back fender. Because right now it's going like that. And rattling. I thought about running some wiring and putting these lights when I you know my light, tie it into this, where when it lights up, it lights up uh, both of those. Wouldn't that be cool? I enjoy my little bike, but anyways, we got it pumped, we got it set, now we got to see why it ain't on the roll, we didn't have any problem with it rolling, I think it's because I got this all oh, back too far. There it goes. That and this wheel. And whatever it is is on this wheel right here. Oh, I see what it is. It's saying that uh, it's turned wrong. We gotta take this wheel back off, guys. I don't want it to roll. No, 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 don't roll. You're gonna break my spokes. I don't know what it's doing. We gotta look at that better. I'm glad we didn't take off with it. Because uh, like right now, for some reason, I'm going to put it back over in the light. There it is. If you look at that, see right there? Those screws are going to be right into my spoke. So I don't know what's wrong with that wheel. I think that spacer goes behind her instead of in front of it. So we're gonna have to take this back off. I can't believe that this has been such a pain. The tire's gonna work that way. We got everything ready going our way. It's this rim, this uh, spacer. It's got a spacer on there. 
And I didn't even know it was on her. It fell out in the driveway and I didn't even see it until a while ago. So we have to take this wheel back out. Here's our spacer. We have to put the spacer back there. And then we have to do the wheel. And then it gets it away from the spokes. But I've seen that before I pushed on it because it would have broke my spokes. And my bike would have been tore up again, guys. I didn't claim to know everything about them. I told you it was years since I worked on them. So my defense, that is my defense. <laughs> I'm just glad I caught it before it messed it up. It's a beautiful night out here tonight, though. Couldn't ask for a better night to work on anyway. All right, there you go. Now it's fixed. Well, there it is, guys. That's what we were doing, working on, the little project. Trying to change the tires around where it buys more time. Uh, I don't know how long them's gonna last. I've been wanting to go down to Walmart and do a ride down through Walmart and all that. They're about afraid to go too far. Because them tires, like I said, is shot and it busts them tubes. I got extra tubes. The only problem is you put a tube in it and you've got a big hole ripped in your tire. It's just going to bust your new tubes. You know, I didn't buy an extra tire when I bought the bike. In fact, the tubes may even be dry rotted by now. I don't know. I don't know how long the tube stays in a box and don't get ruined. But I know right now the tires is shot and we're doing the best we can with it. So and we'll probably do a ride video tonight sometime. I was wanting to get it ready. I enjoy putting it on there, strapping the gimbal on there and just taking it off and riding. I should have took him with me that day I went and got them rocks. I hauled a whole basket full of rock back here, a uh, creek rock. And I, I know people that know anything about rock know creek rock is heavy. And I filled this basket plump full of creek rock and hauled it creek rock and me on this bike. And it never blew the tires, so I was lucky on that one. I'm surprised it didn't bust the tires, but. Uh, all, all them rockets in the front flyer bed was hauled on this bike in this basket. But anyways, guys, this video is long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and end this one. I do appreciate you watching the little video, whoever comes in and watches. It's just something to tinker with and show you what kind of stuff I've been piddling around with. But I'm ready to curious to get out and just take and go off for a ride and see how it does with maybe being able to pull now because before... I'd go to turn the curve and it'd tilt me because the tire was kind of wore at an angle and wore sideways and it kind of tried to flip you. Hopefully it's balancing me back up. But as you can see, in order to ride these, they may be so low that somebody that has any length to them at all, you have to fix your seat way above where it won't hold here. It just slides down. To so I had to put bolts in to kind of anchor where how high I want it. Well, now you can see I'm at the highest thing of the pole of the seat. Surprised it don't bend and break it, but it don't. Knock on wood. But I had to adjust the seat the whole way out just because of my legs to have enough room to pedal the bike. Because look how low they are. They're like a real low frame. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get off here. This video has been long enough. Appreciate you watching and peace. I'm out.